My name is Mike Brown. I'm from Rush Creek Yacht Club, which is in Heath, Texas, just outside of Dallas. Back to starting this year, I got, you know, it was really uh, reinforced on us to have a consistent starting routine. And what that allows you to do is if you're starting from the same place, not the same place on the line, but if your starting routine gets you in the same perspective, you're going to see the situations develop from the same perspective every time, and you can develop a anticipation and knowledge of what's unfolding and what's happening. If you're starting from different spots, if you do a port tack start one day and a starboard tack with the next and a Vanderbilt or what have you, you're always seeing different uh, from different perspectives and you're not able to piece it together. Not just the approach, but also a routine. You know, want to be at certain times in the sequence, you know when you're going to look up course, where you're looking. You know, one of the recommendations was to divide the line into four quadrants, take, uh, and then so look on which, you know, initially you look which side of the course you want to be on and pick a side and then you pick a quadrant on the line where you want to start and if the boat or the pin is heavily favored then you might want to start in one of those quadrants but if they're not heavily favored you have a lower risk by starting in one of the two middle quadrants either side or the mid pin side. It, it really did it helped a lot because I started instead of worrying about where I was and what I was doing I started getting my head out of the boat and looking at what the other guys were doing when they're setting up for their start and so I can actually anticipate what's going to happen and in just two days of this I've already started to feel and see a little bit ahead of what's happening instead of reacting I could be a little more proactive in my starting units. The other thing that uh, I learned that was a really big aha moment was as a beginner I was always told that you're you know at the start just focus on the boat to leeward and the boat to windward of you and keep your bow out on it. And what I was doing was getting my bow out way early in the setup. And what I learned this weekend is that if your bow is at their side stay or their mast instead of bow out on them prior earlier and you wait till it's time to accelerate to go bow down and then get ahead of them, then you're going to have a little more runway to the line than they're going to have and more time to accelerate. But it all comes down to time and distance to the line, and that's something that you can develop with practice.